His nickname is Sliced Bread, as in the greatest thing since. At age seven, he was driving competitively. Yes, age seven. At age 17, Mark Martin called him the real deal. And now that he's got his license and his 18th birthday under his belt, our next guest is taking the next logical step, making his debut in NASCAR's Nationwide Series this weekend. Sliced Bread himself, best nickname out there. Joey Logano is here with us to share some of his amazing story. Joey, let's go way back, and I don't know how far that is. What's your first memory driving? Oh, that was a long time ago. I yeah. was six. I'm getting old now. Six. <laughs> what do you remember from being six? I, I don't driving? remember a whole bunch. I remember I had a little yard cart in my dad's garbage company, and we were driving that thing around all the time, trying to avoid dumpsters and <laughs> tractor trailers and stuff. But uh, that's that's really as much as I remember. Not a whole bunch. And then at seven, you were driving competitively. So what was it that I guess you loved so much that you wanted to do it? I don't know. I guess, like I said, I started driving when I was little, and that's all I've done my whole life. I don't think I know anything else. So um, I enjoy it so much, you know, whether it's, you know, driving old cars down the road or being at a racetrack, having a car in a limit, racing against 43 other guys. Uh, it's some, somewhere in there. It's, that's what I do. I think that's what I'm here for. I was going to say, was there any, ever a point where you thought maybe you'd do something else, or did you always know that this was what you were going to do when you grew up? I don't think I've ever thought about doing anything else. I played hockey a little bit when I was little, but uh, definitely racing was where I'm supposed to be. By the way, you're 18, and I said grow up. You still aren't. <laughs> you're, you're just becoming an adult. Um, you know, age restrictions uh, kept you from racing in, in till, on the Nationwide Series until you were 18, but I was asking you before, at 16, you'd go to get a driver's license, right? Uh, how nerve-wracking was that? Having you're you're a driver, a competitive driver, but you have to go get your driver's license. Yeah, it was pretty funny actually. Uh, you know, we go there and the lady says you gotta go 20 mile an hour real quick and stop real quick. It's like, well, I can do that. So I throttle <laughs> down on this thing. I light them up. They're spinning down there, and I stop and I look at it and I'm like, I guess that's good. I don't know. Were you nervous? But, uh, I, I was a little nervous because like if you if you if you don't pass that deal, you're gonna look like a, a freak a little bit. So I was gonna get a hard time for that, but. Uh, luckily, we got that all I was going to say, no problem. <laughs> and now 18 was maybe the next milestone so that you could get to the Nationwide Series. You knew that this was coming, so what's the wait been like, knowing that you'd be able to drive in the Nationwide Series at age 18? It's been long. Believe me, it's, uh, I've been waiting for a long time to, to get to this point. And, uh, you know, since, you know, last year at the end of the season, you know, I've been looking forward to this time. And getting close now, less than a week away, and uh, I got GameStop on the car for the first time that they've been on a race car before, so that's going to be really exciting, too. What do you think will be the biggest challenge about driving? Uh, I mean, it, it's pretty much a race car is a race car. There's not much different than what I've been doing. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you know, you, you still got a race car, you still got a racetrack. Uh, the biggest thing would probably be green flag pit stops is uh, what I think. Um, we didn't really get a chance to do a lot of that last year. So that would probably be the biggest difference, but besides that, it's still racing. You've still got 43 other cars out there going crazy, so nothing real different there. Now, you mentioned GameStop. They're your sponsor for the race in Dover. I'm going to do a couple quick takes for you. Just need quick answers for you. All right. GameStop, obviously video games comes to mind. So what's your favorite non-racing video game? Non-racing video game. I'd say it would be uh, an NHL game. All right. Hockey games. I have fun with that. What about your favorite racing video game? Uh, Gran Turismo seems pretty cool. What, I have it, that. what is it? It's, uh, it's kind of like a sports car racing road course game. Okay. What about now, if you get to be a NASCAR driver in some of the video games, what who would be your favorite driver to be since I'm guessing you're not out there yet? Uh, yeah, um, I guess I'd have to pick the 20 car, I guess. I don't know, <laughs> right? That makes sense. And, and have, you, have you started talking to Tony Stewart yet about what you're going to do with that 20 car, uh, considering he's uh, got that number right now? I don't think we have talked about that too much yet. <laughs> All right. Now, how about you've said, I've read that you've said you'll race anything. Your favorite thing to race that's not a car. That's not a car? Yeah. What would be your favorite thing to race? Shoot, I'm not not too sure about that. It's not a car? Lawnmower? Oh, we go go kart racing all the time. I don't, is that count? That'll that's count. Kind of it's sort of a car. It's sort of a car. That, sort of that'll a car. work. All right, we'll, we'll go with go kart racing. Now, I'm guessing you've never considered this. I want you to look. I don't know if you saw this earlier because there are people that actually race a, a, some cheese down a hill. What do they Do you ever think about that? <laughs> that's, that's a wheel of cheese that they no chase. Way. Would you do that? I would give it a try. Why not, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think at 18, you could have an advantage over some of these guys here. I might, huh? They're all over the place. Yeah. Look like they're a little loose. You probably want <laughs> a little free. You probably do it in the off season is what I'm guessing. A few injuries there. Well, Joey, we certainly wish you a lot of luck. I, I don't know if you can speculate at all, but 20 years from now, where do you think you'll be in the world of racing? Uh, hopefully still racing with some championships under their belt and, uh, you know, still going out there competitive and winning races. Fantastic. We wish you the best of luck. Good luck this weekend. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it.